Hey guys, here I'm going to be showing you two really cool techniques to do when you're making logos in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm using CS5.1 here, and the two techniques I'm going to show you are how to make a cool contour kind of effect where it kind of gives it a bulge to it, and as well as a highlight effect that you probably notice on every really nice made logo. and it gives it a really professional nice look to it. So what we're going to do is start off by going to our text tool and you choose any font you want and for this tutorial I like to use a brush script so I'm going to go to brush script here and go by start typing so I'm going to do just text for this tutorial and then to keep it into proportion when you expand it hold shift and then drag it to the middle of your artboard and next we're going to convert this to a shape instead of just raw text because it's really not a good idea to work with just text in Adobe Illustrator it's better to work with pure shapes so create outlines and I really don't like the position of this T here so I'm going to double click here and then I'm going to drag holding shift to keep it on the same path or same path yeah and then I'm going to drag it on top of this E here just because I like that look and I don't like the way this is how they're not connected so I'm going to go over a little bit here so I can connect the X and the E together and that looks about right so next I'm going to go to my Pathfinder tool and the way you get to that is window and then click Pathfinder and it's going to look like this and then I'm going to unite the shapes to make it all one shape here. and then next I'm going to do a little shortcut command 8 which makes a compound path it's a hotkey command 8 or control 8 if you're using a PC and the next thing I'm going to do is go to object path offset path and I'm going to give this a nice contour look of 13 pixels because I'm using a pretty big artboard here so I have to keep it a pretty big um, path to give it a nice look so I'll probably do 15 so I'll give a 15 path or offset path and my minor limit, I'm going to go round because it looks really nice to do a round contour effect on this script font. So I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to change the color so you guys can see. Actually, I'm going to leave the color. And you do that. And you select your original text that you made a shape and change the color of that. I'm going to change the color to just a classic red here and so you can see it gives this really nice contour look to it and if you'd like you can actually click on the black part right here and you can also give that a little tiny outline and it gives it a nice look to it so you can go to path offset path and maybe just a three that looks pretty good three pixel and then I want to make this red to match the other inside text so you can see here it gives it a really nice look to it and the next thing we're going to do is give those really nice looking highlights that I was talking about earlier so the way you do that is you click your inside shape here which is in this example this red um, shape and then next we're going to go to object path offset path and we're going to actually give it a negative path this time. We're going to give it about a negative 4 or a negative 3 pixel path. And it's going to give it an outline here. I'm going to change the color so you guys can see. I'll just do black for right now. And then after that, we're going to duplicate this black one. And we're going to drag it down to a, a 45 degree angle about 3 pixels on the y and x axis and after that we're going to send it just this one that we just duplicated to the back so we're going to go command shift left bracket to send to the back 
And then we're gonna select our other inside black one right here. And then we're gonna go to Pathfinder again and do minus back to give us that really nice highlight kind of feel. As you can see, it kind of gives it a highlight bevel kind of feel here. So I'll show you what that looks like. And what I like to do is I like to grab that and change it to just a little bit darker color than we're working with. So I'm working in CMYK, so I'm going to turn up the K a bit. And you can see it kind of gives it a really nice look and feel. And if you don't like this red outline here, you can get rid of that. And with just the, the black contour outline here, it looks really, really nice. And I like the way that looks, so I'm going to leave it like that. So if you guys like this tutorial, please comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And let me know which kind of tutorial you'd like to see next. And if this was helpful, thumbs up. Thanks.